What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. Got a video for you guys here at work right now, taking a break. Um, pretty much, um, I just heard about this Eric Morales versus Lucas Matisse. Bout takes place on September 17th on the undercard of the Mayweather versus um, Victor Ortiz bout. Star Power is what it's dubbed as, or the name of the event. Golden Boy, my Golden Boy, going to be in Las Vegas. It's going to be for the WBC um, Light Welterweight Championship. Um, I believe right now Timothy Bradley is like the champion in recess due to the fact that he has not defended the belt in like six months due to probably legal issues more than likely, whatever. But, you know, now this is going to be an opportunity to give Eric Morales his fourth, I believe, yeah, his fourth championship belt and become the first Mexican fighter to win, like, championships in four divisions. So now Lucas Batiste once again is back is against the wall. His last two fights against Devin Alexander and Zab Judah, you know, he pretty much fought in their backyard and Eric Morales, um, it's another fight where his back is against the wall. And the reason I'm saying his back is against the wall is because Golden Boy is dead set on making a bout between Amir Khan and Eric Morales. Many are looking ahead toward this bout. So Lucas Matisse in this fight is going to have to knock out Eric Morales in order, pretty much in order to win this bout because if I'm, a, if I'm Lucas Matisse, if I'm Matisse, you know, I know for a fact that, hey, I've been fucked over by the judges in three, two of my last three bouts. And my back is against the wall. So I have to do whatever I have to do to take the fight out of the judges' hands and get pretty much and get the knockout. But this is a fight that's nothing like, you know, Devin Alexander and Zab Judah. You know, Eric Morales is, you know, overall I think is a much better fighter than both Zab Judah and and Devin Alexander. You know, also, you know, he's a future Hall of Famer. He's 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 a legend. You know, he's been in these kind of fights before. So his ex the experience factor for Eric Morales um, is pretty much going to play a huge role in this bout. And I think that this bout is going to be much different. It could be much different than, you know, the other bouts. Um, between, you know, Z with Zab Judah and Matisse and Devin Alexander. It's going to be a completely different bout. Um, so let's start off with Lucas Matisse. Matisse, of course, is going to have to find a way to get inside and keep the fight inside. And he's going to have to start a lot faster in this bout. Even though Eric Morales was able, you know, didn't really start to capitalize, you know, until probably third, late second, third round in the bout against um, Marcus Maidana, even in the bout against um, Willie Lyman, you know, he kind of, he was very patient and he took his time in the bout. And Matisse, you know, he start, he, it seems as if he starts slow. Um, he starts slow and um, he tries to put his punches together from out of range from time to time. And in this bout, you know, he does, and there's times that he does have the um, head, you know, go over the um, feet. His, you know, his head's like above the shoulders and he's coming forward and sometimes lunges in with the face. And that's because you know he could take the shots and give a few back, but in this bout he's gonna have to give a lot of shots and can and relentlessly pressure Eric Morales in this one, um, take away his range, um, you know not even you know give him any openings. Also, um, also I think the jab could be the key to getting inside and finding openings without getting hit coming in. Um, if he could use the jab and just step inside quickly then you know that just leads to that leads to Matisse <clears throat> that leads to Matisse you know getting inside and getting the shots into the body and up top what he wants to do is he does want to take away the legs of Eric Morales um, Eric Morales is about 34 35 years old he's an older fighter he's fighting possibly at a weight that he shouldn't that he shouldn't be at but I think that the amount of skill and experience that he has um, pretty much gotten far in the bout, in the bout against Madonna, and the fact that Madonna is limited. Um, Lucas Matisse, what, he, what could play to his advantage in this bout 
is the fact that I think that he can work a lot longer um, than Madonna. Madonna, you know, started to kind of tire down in the mid mid to late rounds. He started to tire down, but he continued to throw punches. And Matisse, you know, it's a different case. You know, he he starts slowly and he pick and he begins to pick up. He be, he begins to pick up that pace, and you know, he goes to the body. You know, he. He goes to the body. He doesn't, you know, he's not a headhunter from time to time, though. Madonna does go to the body himself. Um, Matisse thinks about the body. He goes to the body. He, you know, he comes straight forward. And also he knows how to kind of cut off those angles. So that's pretty much what he has to focus on is pressure, cutting off angles, um, taking, pretty much trying to take away the counter um, from, from Morales. And Morales is quite smart um as we saw in the bout against Maidana against Maidana he was what he was doing was he was turning away from the punches so he didn't get the full effect of them and Maidana was trying to depend on one punch and Matisse is going to have to depend on more than just one punch you know multiple punches combinations um a lot of, you know lots of movement not necessarily chase Morales but just pressure him take you know cut off the ring and take um you know take everything away from him Take away his range. Take away his jab. Take away, <clears throat> um, take away um the counter. And I think he could do very well in this bout and win this bout. For Eric Morales, Eric Morales in this bout is gonna have to pretty much try to make this a center of the ring competition. This is a fight to where he has to keep it at the center of the ring. Um, a punch that he does want to look for is the is the uppercut. Um, some say the uppercut is a punch. It's, a, it's kind of a dying punch. Nobody uses it as much anymore um, for, you know, the same effect as some do. Um, and that's one phrase I do totally disagree with. Um, I believe that the uppercut is is a punch that is important, you know, when you're trying to, I guess, trick your opponent or trying to surprise your opponent, have your opponent respect your power. And that's only my own ideology of the uppercut. Um... People do use the uppercut to add emphasis to, you know, the combinations from time to time and end it with an uppercut, but that's off task here. Um, but in this battle, I think in the center of the ring, the uppercut is going to be, it's going to be a punch that he may want to look for. Um, I think I think for Morales, it's the center of the ring fight. I think he needs to put his, put together his combinations well. I think a majority of the punches that Eric Morales needs to throw are straight punches. He needs to throw straight punches, everything right down the middle. Look for, you know, try try when he throws his combinations to, all, to always slip in the left or right hook to the body. Even look for the for the uppercut to the body. Even look for, you know, a straight punch to the body. Um, it's some for Eric Morales. What he wants to do is he in this one he wants to go to the body early. He wants to go to the body early because it can lessen the attack of and effectiveness. Of Lucas Matisse later on in the bout because we see how strong he gets in the end of at the end of fights he gets much stronger and, and his pace picks up so if he goes to the body that can slow down the pace a little bit um, but it works well in Morales' favor of finding openings later in the bout and and possibly you know taking some of the later taking um, some later rounds. But pretty much all I got to say from Morales is the center of the ring, straight punches, and go to the body. Um, body shots are going to be very beneficial for Eric Morales in this fight, um, especially with at which the pace that Matisse likes to fight at. Um, especially, like I said, late in fights, and that's a repeat thought. So who do I think is going to win this, this, this fight? Both of them are strong finishers. Um, Matisse has been screwed in two of his last three. Even though the last, even though um the two that you could say you screwed them were close bouts, um, I'm gonna go, me I'm gonna go with Eric Morales in this fight. Um, and even though even though I I'd like Matisse to win, I think that it's another fight to where we can have corrupt judges, we can have corrupt judges, or it could be a close fight. And in the close fight, the bigger name fighter always wins. And I think that this should be a close fight. Um, whether you know the judge's scorecard dictates it, or whether whether or not um, the fans dictate, it, I think it's going to be a close fight, and I think it's going to go to Eric Morales by a decision which sets up the American fight later this year. So anyway, guys, I'm out of here. That's the distance. Peace.